I'm putting my shoes on and it is time for my workout. I like to work out early in the mornings. I prefer it so that way it's just done for the day and I don't have to like worry about it later on. Especially because when I have to like cook all day and film all day and then to do a workout at like six o'clock, no. I mean, I do it sometimes if that's what how my day happens, but like, no. I'm doing strength training today. And when I do strength training, I like to wear the Adidas cloud foams. They're definitely really nice because they're flat. So they're like good for when you do squats and stuff. I have a different pair of sneakers for running, which you guys will see tomorrow. So today's Thursday, it's Thursday morning. It's about 7.45, it's a little later than I usually start a workout, but whatever. And so yeah, I try to alternate my days between strength training and cardio. So today's a, car a strength training day. I either will do my own like little routine, my routine, or I will use a Peloton workout, which is probably what I'll do today. I'm gonna do the Just Sims class, like a 45 minute class. They're really great. I like them a lot if you have the Peloton app or if you have a Peloton. They're always good. Like they always leave you like really sweating. So I look forward to them. So try to work out five to six times a week. This was a weird week because of Labor Day. So I only started, and actually, so Labor Day, I was up by my boyfriend. So Monday I didn't work out, then Tuesday, I was just so tired and I was raining and it was just, I came home Tuesday morning from my boyfriend's. We live about two hours away. So I was just like done. I did not have anything to do a workout. So I haven't, the first time I worked out was yesterday. So a little bit of a shorter week. I'll only get four workouts in this week, but that's still good. So we're gonna work out. We're gonna go work the muscles. You know, I'm trying, I as much as I would you wanna lose weight, I am trying to build that muscle mass it's like i don't know it's probably a kind of a confusing thing for my body i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe i just gotta focus on one thing at a time but it's so good to strength train still like even if my muscles don't grow it's still really good to strength train i'm gonna do this workout from just sims from 828 full body strength finish that workout the 45 minutes i'm stretching a little and then i'm gonna go walk on the treadmill uh it was a pretty good class there were a few moves in it that i just didn't like like i was like i don't know why we're doing this but that's okay, it happens sometimes. After a strength class, I don't wanna to do too much cardio. I'm just walking for like 10, 15 minutes, like a pretty low speed, a little incline. So nothing too crazy just to help my body cool down and get some extra steps in too. It's Friday. These are my new running shoes. Friday is usually two things in my schedule. It is five mile Friday where we run five miles. My only goal was to ever run five miles in under an hour. Now I'm running five miles in about like 40, 49 minutes, 48 minutes, 46 minutes. It's been all over the place. It is also, these are brand new by the way. Don't, I'm like holding them to my chest. Friday is also my weekly weigh-in. I usually use my do my weight and my little waist measurements then. I don't know. I have a number in mind that I would like to be. I don't know if it will happen. I feel, even though I've been doing really good with my exercising and my food, I feel... I just feel like fluffy. I also have a time, I weigh in at 9 a.m. I don't know. It was just like something I started doing on my weight loss journey and I, like when I first started and I never um, got off of it. So I'm gonna put my sneakers on. We're gonna go do this run. Also, if you are in the market for good sneakers for running, I, these are my second pair that I got. I had another pair for a year and it was time to get another pair. So I will link them in the description box if you're curious. I just stretch for a few minutes before I start the run, but I wanted to tell you guys, I just found out something so cool about these sneakers. They glow in the dark. I didn't know, I'll put a clip right here. That's like the coolest freaking thing ever. I don't really run outside or at night or by myself for that matter. I run on the treadmill, but that is really cool. So if you're somebody who does run at night, first of all, always be careful, but get the sneakers. I am all done with that run. Guys, that was amazing. I did my five miles in 45 minutes and 48 seconds. My new fastest time yet. And then I actually did a full six miles. I didn't even really expect to do that. And I got there. That was awesome. I took little videos, I'll put them on the side of like the splits and everything. And I just, I can't believe I got those um, five miles in 45 minutes. That's crazy. We have Bella here. Say hi, Belle. I just did my weigh-in and my waist measurement. So for weight this week, from last Friday to this Friday, I am down 0.8 pounds. The few weeks before that were like super slow. It was like 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Like, like the scale was like barely budging. So I'm glad that I got like a, good you know 0.8 pounds down i've been being really good being very consistent my waist is still about the same it was like 
point. It was like literally like one little notch smaller, so I just kept it as the same. I'll show you guys my smoothie that I've been making. It's my current favorite protein smoothie. I've been having it every single morning. It's awesome. It tastes so good. I just made different variations of it, but like basically it's like fruit. I use the jello cheesecake pudding mix because that is actually vegan friendly it might not be like the best thing for you but it adds some nice flavor and some protein powder and then i do like this protein cereal on top and it's awesome because it gets me anywhere from about like 35 to 37 grams of protein right in at breakfast so i'll show you how to make that <music> dish i'm gonna talk to you while i make my lunch i actually just filmed this recipe right here you'll be getting it on saturday people always ask me like what do you do like how do you make this food and then divide it and portion it when i make my recipes i write down everything here right so you get all the grams and the like measurements whatever i have an app called chronometer and i make you could do this on any of these apps but i may and then i add all these ingredients right in there and I weigh out the recipe and then I can portion it and I can take as much as I want or as little as I want. And that's the way I do that. And now I'm gonna have half of this chicken pasta bake thing and vegan chicken, obviously. I'm calling it chicken pasta bake, but yeah, it's made with like lots of veggies and palmini noodles and stuff. And so I'm measuring it on the scale so I know how much I'm getting. That's how I do it with the recipes. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I am having my tea. I'm making my breakfast. I felt like doing a breakfast sandwich today. So I that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been showing you guys. And um, I always swap back and forth. I still always go back to the breakfast sandwich. I do love it. It's a classic. I also always like to have fruit. So if I'm having the smoothie, it's in the smoothie. But if I'm gonna have like a sandwich or something, I put it on the side. You can tell that this watermelon is an end of season watermelon. It doesn't taste the same. Now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit in between waiting for like my food to settle. Something I just wanted to say that I was like thinking about is like how much you move around when you clean. And it's just, these glasses are so dirty and it's just crazy. It's just another great way to like move your body, get your body going, like get some steps in. So I wanted to do like a little experiment because right now, so far for the day at 9.49, I'm at 1,612 steps just from like walking around doing everything I've been doing. So I'm curious, I'm gonna like clean up the rest of the room. I have to make this bed. I have to put some stuff away and I'm curious to see how many steps I get to. I cleaned my room for about an hour. I did like I went up and down. I did some things and walked around and ready. 3,272 steps. So we were somewhere in the 1600s before and I'm at 3,200. So it's just like a reminder of the little things you can do throughout the day that really add up. All right gonna work out i don't know if i'll vlog anymore for the rest of the day i'll see my boyfriend is coming here later today and then i don't know we were talking about like what to do for dinner maybe if we go out to dinner i'll show you what to eat but we might i kind of also kind of want to like stay in because it's getting a little bit cool here now finally and i feel like oh i could kind of like go for like making like some pizzas at home and then like sitting by a fire or something i don't know we'll see it is monday so over the weekend i told you guys my boyfriend was here and you saw i think like I don't know, I haven't edited this yet, so I don't know how we're gonna like leave this off, but I worked out on Saturday, and then I did take little clips, so on Saturday night, we made pizza, and we got frozen yogurt. I got vegan frozen yogurt. I just wanted to talk about this, because like realistically, when I like kind of was single and wasn't dating, um, and was losing weight, I wasn't doing things on the weekend, honestly, like, and if I saw my friends, they knew, and like, I would just like, we would go have like a cup of tea or something, like I kept it pretty minimal, but I wanna also like enjoy 
my life <laughs> so basically what i did was i made my pizza and i just i calorie counted it like usual and i made i calorie counted the vegan frozen yogurt so that day i went from i think i was at like 1720 calories and then last night which was sunday night we went out to dinner and we went to this little vegan restaurant that i like and to keep like myself try to stay like somewhat accountable i tracked throughout the day at dinner i got like a coconut curry broth that was like amazing which was definitely like thick and decadent but it was very good and then i had some dessert and like that's it and then today is monday and we get right back on track this morning i had my protein smoothie like how i showed you guys how i made the other day like nice thick creamy protein smoothie that's so good with frozen bananas and mango and the protein powder and everything like that and we just go right back on track i haven't worked out yet today because my boyfriend did stay a little bit later today this morning we just had some things going on in the house so i didn't work out yet i'm doing some work right now i have like blog posts and <coughs> things i'm editing that looks okay come here but i did want to talk about this because that is like a very big part of weight loss and i think like for a long time i always sort of was like oh well i ate out so now i have to be really like really really strict but that's not it like just get back on track do what you know how to do and like yes is my weight up three pounds from friday but i know that that's gonna go down i know that's gonna like stabilize back out i did not gain three pounds in a few days that's water weight that's weight from like some extra carbs and stuff and like that's okay it'll stabilize and like it'll it'll go back down so i just want to talk about that because that's like part of everyday life and you know there will be times when you have to go out but i do try to keep it very minimal like right now while i am trying to like focus on my weight loss and you know um like family friends boyfriend everyone's supportive of that they understand so i hope you guys have been enjoying this so far i don't know like let me know in the comments if you don't like that this has like kind of like snippets of every little day i kind of wanted this to be more of like I don't want to say a reality show, but like have snippets of each day, not just a vlog. But if you guys do just want one vlog, like one what I eat in a day vlog, we can do that too. But I just thought for a more realistic approach to this to see a few days, you know, I think tomorrow is Tuesday. So that'll probably be the last day that I film anything for this. And then like, I'll start filming for the week after that. Definitely let me know. And yeah, that's all I want to say. If you just, if you do eat out, if you do go, you know, go do something, just get back on track, get back on track the next day, drink your water, eat your fruits and veggies you know just do do what you got to do and you'll be fine it's okay one meal doesn't take away from all your hard work even two meals doesn't take away from all hard work so and you don't need to punish yourself with like extra exercise or anything like that just go back to your normal routine i weigh myself every day um i'm not saying that you should or shouldn't do that it's my only personal thing that i just do and it is interesting to see how much the weight fluctuates so maybe tomorrow we'll see how much i go down from what i was at today when i weighed myself just out of curiosity Okay, so I made my lunch. So here is the little tuna salad. I put a pickle on the side. I love pickles because they are like no calories. So it's really great if you're just looking for some extra volume. And I put on that potato bread like I showed you. I added too much garlic powder by accident. So it's a very garlicky, but that's okay. So then when I make my lunches, I always think of like how I'm gonna complete the meal. So I either have a side of fruit or veggie. So I have in here some grapes and cherries. And these are the harvest snap peas, little snack. And there we go, that's like a really nice filling lunch and I'll put the nutrition information on the screen right now so you can see calories and protein and stuff, but really great lunch for really good macros and calories and stuff. If I look like a mess, it's because I feel like a mess. So I worked, I worked till like five o'clock and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna lay down for like 15 minutes and just get a few minutes that I wanted to be rest now. It's now six o'clock, past six o'clock. I haven't worked out. I'm in that weird groggy state. And I was so close to saying no, no to a workout. And it's very important to listen to your body, but it's also important that there's gonna be a lot of times in weight loss journeys that you, it's not even motivation and discipline. It's just consistency. My workout should on, honestly, sometimes it's just about doing what you can to just make it a quick transition. I still have my sweatpants on that I'm wearing all day. I have my ankle socks on that like say F off, I'm reading, like whatever. Like I put on the workout shirt on, I didn't even put a sports bra on, I don't care. I'm just gonna try to do my 20, 30 minutes. Well, I will do my 20, 30 minutes that will probably turn into a longer workout. That's always how it is. But like, I'm just telling myself to do it that way. All right, so I finished my workout. I did 55 minutes on treadmill. 
3.56 miles, um, 664 calories burned. So that was that was really good. I feel much more awake now than I did before. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and I am putting my shoes on to work out. Strength training day today. I think I'm gonna do my own strength training and not do a Peloton one, or like. Maybe I'll just do like a five minute abs on the Peloton and then I'll just do like my own weightlifting stuff. Sometimes I don't like doing the strength painting on the Peloton because I don't lift as heavy because sometimes like it's like I don't know what's coming. And like also on the Peloton, we do like a lot of rounds of the same thing, which is fine. But like after a while, like you can't lift, you can't start out like lifting 20 pounds on something if you're doing like five, three rounds of it. You know what I mean? I meant to finish up yesterday with you guys on camera last night. But I don't know, I, I worked out so late and it was like 7.30 by the time I was done and then I showered and then I was like late when I ate dinner, watching the football game and stuff. But yesterday was a great day of eating. I'm gonna talk about the uh, macros and calories right now. But so yesterday in the morning I had that pr a protein smoothie, which I didn't show you guys, but it's exactly the same as the protein smoothie that I showed you the other day. Then for lunch, I made that um, plant-based tuna, which my mouth, still tastes like garlic powder from. For dinner, I did what I do a lot. I take all my frozen things, like I take my tofu from Trader Joe's, I take frozen veggies, frozen rice, easy dinner in literally five to 10 minutes. And I do that very frequently. I'm a big fan of frozen veggies. I'm a big fan of frozen rice, frozen quinoa, and things like that because it makes my life a lot easier. I made, um, I just took a Siggy's plant-based yogurt. I used the strawberry one and I mixed in some of that cheesecake pudding mix and a little maple syrup. So yesterday for my day, my total calories were 1656, 107.5 grams of protein, 226.3 grams of carbs, and 54.7 grams of fat. So overall, really, really great. I don't snack. So there are times I will do like a little picking, like I'll have like a few little bagel chips or something, like literally like three or four of them. I just don't snack. So that way I can have nice bigger meals. And I don't know. I have feelings about snacking on a weight loss journey. I do feel like not snacking is what helped me to get to where I am because it's just like, if you eat big enough meals, I personally feel like I don't eat snacks. That's just how my body works. Everybody's body works differently. So you might need snacks, you know, but I personally find that I just, if I don't snack, it's usually better for me. Just finished my workout, did 45 minutes. Um, of like strength training and I did 10 minutes of abs with the peloton I did a class. I'm gonna stretch for a few minutes and then I'm just gonna walk for a little bit. I did my walk so I walked for like 18 minutes and look I hit 7,000 minutes worked out so far in 2022. It's definitely more than that because I had workouts that I didn't do on the peloton but basically any pelotons workouts that I've done since the beginning of the year has been 7,000 minutes. I also like that the Peloton tells you that you when you have a streak, so I have an 86 week streak going, so that means I have worked out at least once a week, every week for the last 86 weeks, which is over, which is a year, and it was like a year and a little more than a half, so that's pretty cool. It is currently almost three o'clock. I just filmed this recipe right here. It is a tofu, quinoa, scramble bowl, roasted veggies. It's part of my 30 minute meals video that's coming out next week or on Saturday. So I don't know why I said next week. So I have it portioned out into two portions right here. And this is one portion that I'm having for lunch. And then I had some leftover pizza from on the weekend when I made it with my boyfriend. So I don't want that to go to waste. So I'm gonna eat that. This is a really nice meal filled with lots of veggies and the tofu the quinoa it's really delicious i'm excited to share the recipe with you guys and you know again this is just how i go through navigating creating recipes and losing weight at the same time everything gets counted everything gets portioned i'll put the nutrition information right here for the pizza and the, the bowl and that's it and this is lunch yummy delicious and you know i try really hard not to like waste any food or anything like that because i feel really bad when that happens um so you know, if I don't eat it, I'll freeze it. But this is like, I'll eat this today and tomorrow or something and that'll be that. I told you guys yesterday on Monday that I would let you know how my weight went this morning. Okay, on Friday I weighed in. Great, I lost 0.8 pounds. We were doing really good. Monday morning, I weighed in almost four pounds heavier. However, this morning I weighed in at 
three pounds lower and about a pound heavier than Friday. So I'm just telling you guys that because like if you see like from like one or two meals that your weight has gone up a lot, it doesn't necessarily mean that you gained all that weight. It's water weight, it's everything. So I'm just telling you guys that because I just, I want to reinforce it. I feel like I have to call this series like sweaters and bad hair. Like all I've done has been in sweatshirts and my hair is looked like it's a mess. <laughs> I got some clothes from Abercrombie. I ordered them and they just came in and I thought maybe we should do a fashion show. You know when in the office when Kelly goes, fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch to Pam, right Bella? She goes, fashion show, fashion. She's like a mom. Can we stop doing this? Fashion show at lunch. First thing is this is called the strappy mesh top. I thought this would be a really cute top and it is cute. I just don't know if that V is a little bit lower than I would like for it to be. I currently have a strapless tan bra on and I did have to kind of like situate it properly. I got this in a medium, so it is like a croppier look like I would wear this with high-waisted jeans and like a cute belt. Next up, we have this sweatshirt and it says free hotel. So this one is a medium. I had gotten one in a small and I like that too. So I'll just show you the medium compared to the small. The small is obviously smaller. It's a cropped sweatshirt, so it's meeting it might be hard to see with the blue and the black, but it's meeting like really like right here. Like, well, I'm kind of short, so I don't know, but it's, I'm only 5'3", but it's meeting like right there. It's loose fitting, it's cute. Hold on, I'll show you the small just so you can see a comparison in size. So this is the small, it's a much more cropped. The other one was coming to about here. This one's coming to about here. It still has that boxy fit, like there's definitely, I, like they look like bat wings over here, you know? But it's definitely more fitted, more just, it's just a more fitted look. We've got another sweatshirt. I told you guys I'm living in sweatshirts. So this sweatshirt is called the boyfriend sweatshirt, I think. This is a size small, definitely longer, a little bigger. It has like on the side, has little slits, super comfortable, really awesome. And then I also got a pair of jean shorts. Let me drop you guys down so you can see it. These jeans were on sale. I think that's why I got them because they were like $25 down from like 60 or something ridiculous. They are the mom short high rise. I got these at a 28. They're definitely slightly tighter than I always go for. Like, I feel like I have some jeans that are really big, some that are really loose, but these are a little bit tighter fit. Okay, next thing is this dress, which is going to be returned. I wanted it to definitely be a looser fit. This is really tight. I don't think it's doing me any favors. I don't think it's like this part of my lower belly. I don't like that part. It is a little bit of a self-conscious area and it just is, it's right there. I didn't order those jean shorts. I was looking at them and it's funny. I was like, wait, I don't think I got jean shorts. And I didn't, I looked back at my order and I didn't order jean shorts. So now I need to contact Abercrombie because I was supposed to get another sweatshirt. <laughs> but it was like a cute little like collared sweater thing. Like it was gonna be really cute. So now I gotta contact them and understand why I got jean shorts that weren't meant for me. I mean, I might just try it with some Spanx underneath and just see. Okay, here is it with Spanx on. Um, I mean, it definitely looks better. I just don't know if this is like my most flattering look. I need the sun to cooperate with me. So it's probably the most excited about this dress. I thought it was gonna be really cute and I think it is. I feel like it's looking less flattering on camera for some reason. This really cute little like, see it's too bright in here. This is why I'm not a fashion blogger. Um, it has this really cute little like sort of mock neck. I like the sleeve length. It's not short sleeves, it's not long sleeves, it's just that in between. I love, love, love this brown and white together. So cute for fall. Yeah, I do have the Spanx on underneath this. This is a medium. The length is really nice because it's slightly longer. It's like coming to here on me. This I will definitely keep and play around with. It is slightly, again, tighter in that belly area. I don't know, it's just an area and I, it's something I have to kind of learn to live with. Definitely so cute. It would be really cute with like a little jacket and scarf and some boots. So comfortable. Dinner time and I wanted something super simple, super easy. I did not feel like doing a lot of cooking. I took the Bonza chickpea pasta, great source of vegan plant-based protein. Just added some jarred tomato sauce. I made a nice little salad. We got iceberg, olives, pickled jalapeno, or no, they're not jalapeno, sorry. They're pepperoncini, tomato, cucumber, a little, a little tiny bit of um, vegan Parmesan, salt, pepper, lemon juice. And there we go. Super, super easy dinner and really good for you and easy to make. So this is like another example of something I do on a night when I just don't really feel like cooking. For my dessert, I'm having the rest of my 16 handles. It's the Oatly Marshmallow. It's pretty good. And then I put a little more of that Catalina Crunch 
on here just for some extra protein. All right, friends, it is Tuesday night. I showed you everything I ate today, so I'll just tell you all the macros and calories for the day. So, and this is why I turned into snack because today I did snack like a tiny bit more, like I had some harvest snap peas and I had some bagel crisps and stuff like throughout the day, like just little tiny bits here and there, but I'm at 1694 calories for the day which is still fine, still in my range that I'm going for, but just, you know, a little bit higher than yesterday. 91.8 grams of protein, 240 grams of carbs, and 56 grams of fat. So all in all, still a great day, still where I wanna be. Almost at 10,000 steps for the day, I'm at 9,907, so I'm sure I will get to 10,000. So I'm going to end the first vlog here, and I will see you all next week. Again, if you're liking it, I really hope that you, you know, interact with the video. Let me know if you have any like questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Like I'll try to address them each week as we go. And then, you know, we'll do our way in on Friday again. So you guys will see that and we'll see what happens. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on Saturday with another recipe and Wednesday with another vlog. Bye guys.